एस चांद प्रेजेंट्स एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एस पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम you may wonder in the industrial applications how this glass is being cut for the large scale production do we used to do we have to use the glass cutters for it or do we have some other process for its removal welcome to s chand academy and i am anmol bhatia in this part of the video we will be learning about the glass cutting operations and in this video we'll be learning about the carbon dioxide lasers for detailed conceptual clarity you can refer to the book by s chand publishing the link of the book is there in the description box below this is the second part of the video uh, in the first part of the video we have learnt the concept of glass manufacturing and also the cutting operations in this part of the video we'll be learning the glass cutting operation with the help of lasers If you haven't watched the first part of the video you can click the link which is there in the description box So far we have learned about the cutting uh, of the glass with the help of cutter now in this part of the video we'll be learning about the carbon dioxide laser cuttings So as you can see the diagram on the board uh, in order to uh, explain you the situation the worker may particularly feel fatigue if he is cutting the glass with the help of the scraper or with the help of the glass cutting tool so in that situation or in order to overcome its fatigue because of the large volume of production we majorly use this laser based technology which is called as the carbon dioxide laser and in uh, in this technology with the help of laser the cutting of the glass is operational you can see on the board that you have a computer which is there to have the programming and that programming is being fed into the controller so the controller generally controls the movement of the laser head from one point to another so the controller is having the program which is fed into the system and generally the coordinate geometry is incorporated in order to calculate the coordinates of the particular uh, movement of the uh, the laser head now this laser head consist of uh, the the beam uh, is is responsible for the removal of the laser beam from the surface of this laser head and this laser beam uh, follows a particular path like uh, as it is shown in the diagram that the laser beam follows that particular path and this particular region is required to be cut from the surface and you have a direction which is called as a scanning direction so there is a scanning direction with the help of that scanning direction the laser moves in respect to the path which is being cut which is required to be cut and when the laser moves in a particular direction because of that particular heating action the cutting takes place and uh, this particular operation cannot be used for uh, heating or removing the high thickness or large thickness of the glass plates because the laser when moves uh, into the later fashion it leads to the diversification and ultimately the heat would be released in every direction so a heat would not be pointed in a particular direction so that's why it is used for the thin glass plates now with the help of this technology what what we can do or what we can perform uh, with the help of this laser cutting technology what happens a uh, straight path can be produced as shown in the diagram uh, a straight path is produced or you can go for production of the curved path so curved path is when you require certain angles of the trajectory so for that particular application or for that particular purpose you can uh use this laser also and also if you want to chamfer the contours that particular thing is also possible with the help of this lasers chamfering is basically removing the corners from the glass surface so if you want uh, the corners of this glass to be uh, removed for the decorative actions or for the decorative items like 
the table on on the table surface on which you want to place the glass so for that particular operation the chamfering part is generally required so for that operation this laser beam or the laser technology can also work this laser beam uh, is not specific for the cutting of the glass items rather it is also used for cutting certain materials like wood also it can be used to cut the rubber it can use it can be used to cut the plastics also uh, with the help of uh, the heating technology that i have told you so herein what happens the heat is being provided to the particular section of the area that we want to cut and after cutting or after providing that particular heat to the surface the removal of the plastic or the glass is being done the video that you are seeing on the screen is related to the laser cutting operation in which uh, you can see that the lasers are majorly used to cut the materials the operator is providing the laser with the help of the laser head on the surface of the workpiece material as it is being demonstrated in this video and uh, with the help of laser uh, which is following a particular path a straight cut is being inserted on the surface of the material so here the workpiece material plays a major role in in cutting and uh, ultimately this uh, lasers are laser technology is applicable not only for cutting the glass but it is also applicable for cutting the variety of materials such as uh, the metals or the plastics etc so there are certain applications of uh, this laser uh, cutting process this can be used for the small scale industries as i have told you that in in case of industrial usage we cannot use that glass cutters so for that we can use this laser cutters and uh, the small scale industry may use the wheel cutters but for the regular usage or for the large scale production wherein the accuracy is required so for that particular situation you can go for uh, the laser cutting operations and herein um, there is also an advantage that it would avoid the breakage of the glass at frequent intervals so in in small scale industries what happens the the breakage of the glass is a general problem but in this situation wherein the laser is following a particular path and cutting action is being generated so the breakage of the glass would not be a particular problem or that problem can be avoided in this particular situation there are certain applications of this process also or there are certain advantages you can say one is it can cut the simple parts as well as the complex parts let's say you have a complex geometry that you want to create so there is no problem you have to program that uh, particular operation giving the coordinate value the laser generally moves in that particular uh, fashion and then it because of that heating effect it cuts the particular area as the human intervention is nowhere involved the in the operation but the later part which is the inspection and the repairs uh, the human intervention is only involved so this process is completely auto automation based and uh, human intervention is uh, not involved in the major aspects also it performs various operations at a particular time so it this laser beam cutting uh, can also perform multitasking at a particular operation and lastly we have certain disadvantages like metals like copper and aluminium can't be cut with the help of this technology and laser cutting of the plastic components uh, are more expensive as compared to cutting of this glass because the plastic part when it is exposed to heat it emits certain gases and for this reason this laser cutting is laser cutting should have a uh, well ventilated room which is quite expensive so having this uh, ventilation is another requirement that adds to the cost of this process so this process can uh, be lesser used for cutting this plastics because of this reason as no human intervention is being required so automation is being uh, incorporated in this process thereby it generally affects the employability of the manpower so that's why this 
process is having a disadvantage in terms of employability. With this, we come to the end of the second part of the video, wherein we learnt about the laser cutting technology, uh, which is used to cut the glass. In the first part of the video, we have learnt the operations which are uh, used to manufacture the glass and also the cutting wheel which is the manual cutting operations in the first part of the video. If you haven't watched the first part of the video, you can click the link in the description box to watch the video. For detailed conceptual clarity, you can refer to the book by S. Chand Publishing. The link of the book is there in the description box below. If you find the video interesting, like, share, subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon for future updates. Thank you. All rights reserved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.